sample space and probability. Hello students, you will be surprised that why we have cards, coins and dice with us. Yes, you have something in your mathematics and that is called probability. So we'll teach you the sample space in probability. Whatever we do in probability is called random experiment and all the possible outcomes of random experiment in one set is called the sample space If you know about sets, you know that the set which is containing all the sets is called the universal set. So I'm making a Venn diagram for you. And this is the Venn diagram and this is called the universal set. And same thing in probability is denoted by S meaning sample space. Now, I'll explain the sample space of coins, dice, and playing cards. You can see that we have a coin which has two sides, tails, and this side is heads. This is a pound with the denomination two. And I'm taking another coin. This is 10 rupee Indian coin. This side is heads and the other side which has the denomination is called the tails. So a coin has two sides, heads and tails. So if you toss a coin, then either it will be head or it will be tail. So either we get heads or we get tails. That is how many outcomes? We get two outcomes. Similarly, if we have two coins and we toss them once, then there will be four outcomes. Both can be heads, both can be tails, or it could be heads and tails, or tails and heads. So the number of outcomes will be four. So four outcomes. So in case of first, the sample space will be two. And in case of two coins, the sample space will be four. You will be curious to know more. What if when we have three coins, so the single toss of three coins will give you eight outcomes. So how you will create eight outcomes? It could be a tedious process, but we can make it simple for you. Just write half of eight, which is four. So you write heads four times in a column and then tails four times and do again half of it which is two so write heads heads tails tails heads heads tails tails and again do half of it which is just one so write heads tails heads tails heads tails heads and tails so this is eight outcomes so if, if they tell you to make or write down the sample space, this will be the sample space and you can even extend this to four coins. So the formula becomes two raised to power n, n is either number of coins keeping the toss once or it will be number of tosses when the coin is one. When you take coins, 
the toss will be a single toss and when you take tosses then there will be only one coin so the sample space remains the same now i'll take you to cubicle die 